Hey YouTube land, this is Reef Girl. Well here it is, the system is running. This is fresh water that's in here right now. Uh, after a lot of adjustments with the pump outflow, changing things we had to change, such as removing the check valve from the plumbing line um, that comes from the return pump. I'll go around the back here. Um, you can see the gray segment there. That's where the ball and spring was in the check valve and um, we removed that. And now the pump is uh, running at about half speed. Um, you can see the gate valve or the, the ball valve on the line coming out of the pump is, is throttling things down a little bit further. So that solved the problem we were having of not getting enough flow to the upper part of the tank after all of those 90 degree elbows. Really it was just the check valve that was causing the problem. If anyone has that kind of an issue that might help you. Also the strength of the pump was in fact plenty to do the job. It was just that valve that made us wonder if we needed a new pump. With the way it's set up right now you can see the water level is actually very very close to the black trim. And I'm very happy about that because I was wondering whether I'd have a problem with the water level being so low. We were talking about ways to cover that up and really this solves the problem. Um, we'll be using a skimmer bar as you can see there. I'm sure I'll be in there with a toothbrush every day uh, trying to make sure that there's no um, detritus or creatures blocking those slots because that's where the balance of the system comes in. We have to make absolutely sure the overflow doesn't get restricted in any way because if it does then we're going to have the top tank overflow because the pump is going to be pushing too much water in. So <laughs> as a sort of a stopgap measure to make us both feel more comfortable about the whole thing, when this goes in our dining room, which is um, where we're going to be putting it beside the other tank, we're actually putting it inside a large plastic flat tote. It's one of those underbed storage things and the holes have been silicone shut, the wheels have been removed and that's where we're setting it on four little blocks of wood so that we don't have issues with rust happening at the bottom of the metal stand legs which always seems to happen. Um, that's what we're going to do to make ourselves feel better about the potential for overflowing of the top of the tank. The other thing we're doing is we're mounting the power supply on a switchable power bar where each outlet has its own switch. It's getting put on the wall beside the tank high enough that we're not going to run into problems if there is an overflow. We're not risking the water running into the power switches. Uh, the skimmer is in here and right now it's tuned to create bubbles in the fresh water. Um, it's creating bubbles but I don't imagine it'll pull anything out because there's really I don't think there's anything in there for it to, um, to clean. We had an issue with noise and solved the issue by putting those sponge filter insert things, cutting them to shape, and those are actually just around the bottom outflow of those pipes so that when the water comes out it's um, kind of dampened down the gurgling of it by those sponges. We still have the filter sock operating and in the refugium, again, it didn't make much noise, but it was enough to be noticeable. And it doesn't impede the flow at all uh, because it's uh, at the outside of the pipe and not covering the bottom of it, the, the opening. Uh, so that's how things are right now, uh, running with fresh water. We're going to run it for a day and see what happens with the water level up top. Um, if it looks like it's going to stay stable, then everything will be drained and taken apart and brought inside and put in place. Um, right now I'm making RODI water in a giant tote so that I can mix some salt water and uh, we can get it running with salt water and see where we go from there. Uh, I still have to uh, put my aquascape in here. I put up a short video of that and uh, once that sand is in, it, uh, cleaned and in the tank and the rocks are in there ready to go um, hopefully by then I'll have enough salt water made up that we can put the salt water in and plug things in and power it up and see what happens. So it's getting kind of exciting. We have a couple of problems to solve. Um, a lid is going to be built out of the, the uh, nylon mesh and uh, an actual window frame kit. And the other issue I'm going to have is with the light. I don't think I can use either one of my current lights because there's no way we have to hang them. 
The ceiling above where this is going to be is on, a, on an angle and goes up to a peak in the middle and we really are reluctant to hang anything up there. Um, it's going to be hard to figure out where to put it. So I think I'm going to be getting something on a gooseneck or on that's going to be mounted on the tank. I'm not quite sure yet what, what I'll actually get, but that's going to be some research and shopping that I'll have to do. So there you go. Any questions or comments or um, advice, happy to get it. And we will see you next time.